Some dogs have an amazing life. Not that dog, I'm talking about dogs like this. Service dogs are seen everywhere, and who is not impressed by their sense of duty and compassion? Well, that may all become a thing of the past. I'll tell you all about it coming up. Animals like dogs have long since been relied on for companionship and doing the dirty work. New research into biomimetic olfactory chips, or BOCs, that mimic human and animal olfactory systems hold promise for various applications, including advanced robotics and chemical threat detection. Semiconductor chips developed by researchers at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology replicate the sensitive olfactory sensing capabilities found in animals. They've named the chips an Enos, and this Enos could sniff out major success. Never happened. We'll dive into this more after our premier product highlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Weidmuller D-Series push and industrial relays are essential for insulation and switching amplification across diverse industrial sectors. Featuring up to 28 connection points per socket, these modules notably streamline wiring tasks, minimizing installation time. They also offer an integrated cross-connect interlock option for easy jumper connection between sockets. Additionally, each connection includes an extra test point, simplifying maintenance procedures and ensuring efficient upkeep of the system. The Weidmuller D-Series push and industrial relays are versatile, dependable. To learn more, visit mauser.com today. Mastery of control automation and shaping the future are driven by education. In this spirit, we bring you David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. Test instruments are some of the most useful things that any technician can use and understand. This is a clamp meter. The clamp meter is designed for testing current in an AC circuit. Now this one is quite precise, but sometimes the current that we're testing needs a little bit of extra precision. So here I have a contactor that's powered by 110 volts AC. When I turn it on, I wanna measure the amount of current going through the coil. So I turn on the clamp meter and I measure one of the strands. And I can see that I have about 0.05 amps. Now that's a very small quantity, as I would expect for a small contactor. But if I need a little bit more accuracy, here's a trick that we can do, but it depends on having a little bit of spare wire. If I can loop the wire and put two strands through the jaws of the clamp, then it doubles the amount of current, creating a more accurate measurement. Now this works not only on small currents like this contactor, but also on much larger currents where we wanna safely be able to test without interfering with the circuit. One thing that I do have to remember, no matter how many strands I'm using, is that I need to divide the number that I see on the screen by the number of strands. Because when I coil it multiple times, the current has been multiplied by the number of coils. But we do have to be careful, because if we put the coil on the wrong direction, they will cancel each other out and we'll have a false reading. So this is a handy trick to know if you have spare wire and need a little bit more accurate measurement. Andy, back to you. Will service dogs be replaced by robots? The Enos could revolutionize chemical detection, medical diagnostics, and industrial safety measures by offering rapid, accurate identification of volatile organic molecules. Fan Jir Yong, HKUST professor, suggests BOCs may soon monitor breath and skin for disease. He says, quote, it, BOCs, can in the near future also monitor the abnormalities and volatile organic molecules in our breath and admitted by our skin to warn us on potential diseases reaching further potential of biomimetic engineering. Many industrial processes emit harmful fumes. Pinpointing leaks quickly reduces worker exposure, and ENOs could identify low oxygen is from nitrogen or hydrogen, significantly improving response. Unlike trained animals, the Enos offers a safer and more efficient means of detecting chemical threats and monitoring industrial emissions, potentially saving lives and minimizing harm in hazardous environments. Well, there's always doggy daycare. That's going to do it for today. Be sure to check out all of our other episodes to stay updated with the latest in control automation. 